Hey guys, today I want to present a solution to Hong Kong Team Selection Test 2024 Problem 4. At first, let's take a look at the problem statement. We are asked to find all functions from the real numbers to the real numbers such that the value f of x plus f of y is either equal to x plus f of y or equal to f of f of x plus y for all x and y in R. The first thing I want to mention is that if we are in our first case, then x plus f of y is a fixed point. And therefore, we can easily see that if f is the identity function, then this condition here is satisfied. So let's write down the solution. We get that f of x is in the set containing x itself, and f of f of x minus f of y plus y. As we have already figured out, everything works out nicely if f of x is always equal to x. And therefore, we want to consider the other case. So assume that f of a is not equal to a for some a in R. We directly get that f of a must be equal to f of f of a minus f of y plus y for all y in R. This especially implies that the right hand side is a constant function of y. And therefore, it's a good idea to plug in this first sum in here for y to get a nice equality. Namely, we get that this is equal to f of f of a minus f of y. And now we have to add f of f of a minus f of and now use this sum in here as the argument. So f of f of f of a minus f of y. Although this second sum in here seems pretty ugly, we can cancel out the first sum and get the really nice statement that our function f is bijective. Let's try to apply this observation to this statement here. And we can see that the best way we can do this is to plug in the value zero for y, because then this second term here is f of something. To write it down, we have that f of x is in the set x and f of f of x minus f of zero. We see that if f of x is not equal to x, we use injectivity of f to get that x is equal to f of x minus f of zero. And therefore, we can conclude that x is equal to f of x or equal to f of x minus f of zero. In order to use injectivity again, we want to plug in f of x for x. So we get f of x is in the set f of f of x and f of f of x minus f of zero. This implies that x is in the set f of x and f of x minus f of zero. And now we can rearrange this for f of x to get that f of x is equal to x or equal to x plus f of zero. Using our assumption that f of a is not equal to a, this implies that a plus f of zero is equal to f of a. And now we can use this equation here to get that this is equal to f of f of a minus f of y plus y for all y in r. At first, I want to mention that this implies that f of zero is not equal to zero because otherwise f of a equals a. Moreover, we want to use this equation here to indeed show that we are always in the case that f of x equals to x plus f of zero. And we do this by contradiction. So assume that f of b is equal to b for some b in r. Plugging in b for y on the right hand side here, we see that this is equal to f of f of a minus b plus b. If a minus b is a fixed point, then the right hand side here is just equal to a, which is impossible. And therefore, we can conclude from this that f of a minus b must be equal to a minus b plus 
f of 0. Hence, we can rewrite this as f of a minus b plus f of 0 plus b. Rearranging this equation here gives us that f of a minus b plus f of 0 is equal to a minus b plus f of 0. We see that in these two equations here, the right hand side is the same. But now, since f is injective, this implies that also these two arguments here are the same. But this is impossible since f of 0 is not equal to 0. And therefore, this gives a contradiction. We conclude that we are always in the second case here. And therefore, our last possible solutions are f of x equal to x plus c for some constant c. Plugging this back into our original terms, we see that the left hand side here is always equal to the second term here. And therefore, all these solutions indeed work, and hence we are done. <laughs>